I've been sitting at the bar for three hours. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Max P3. Last time I said I would let you play, let him play out, but he didn't play out because it was literally the very last bar of the entire uh, of the entire level. Uh, yeah, last time we were at the football stadium, we tried to make a hostage exchange, but it went quite awry, which is a shame because we were on it. And now we're having a little flashback to how Raul and Max met. He's in a bar in Hoboken, and then these draining Italian guys came pouring in. It's like Geordie Shore, but incredibly low budget. Tony. 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 Of course, it's bloody Tony. Pillar of the New Jersey. They just come. Look at them just hassling him. Like he's just sitting at the bar and they're just dancing about him. What is this? Some bloody West Side Story. Honestly, I've seen some things in my time. Sense of humor for New Jersey. Seriously, I thought I told you to get out of here. Old you don't yeah, tell Max Payne yeah, to stop drinking in his favorite bar. Nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Oh, what a burn! What a burn! And this lady at the far end looks just as disgruntled as Max is. That's a completely different story. Spin-off game. Jenny. Jenny. Uh, Jenny Smith. And it's a story about how she uh, she struggles to live a uh, single parent household and uh, she's hard on her luck, her job isn't very well paying long hours so she just drowns it at the bar. Was a single parent household, the, 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 the child left because uh, they, they'd had enough of her drinking. It's a sad story. Good game though. It isn't really a real game, just to let you know, in case, like, you obviously knew that already. Tone. I, if, I, if, if my name was Tony, I would absolutely fucking hate it if people shortened my name to Tone. And then in the background we see a familiar face just wandering in at this convenient time and he's like, I'm in fucking hell. I have seen some shit. Whoa, C word, C word, rated 18. Parental guidance. They're even threatening the barman. They just do not stop these guys. And that's the way to do it. Revolver point. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Behave yourself. Oh, he's tossing out the racial slurs. Oh, shameful. Shameful. <laughs> Whatever. Greatest put down. That lady is somewhat impressed. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. Old. You don't remember me? He looks older now than he does in the present day. Back in South America. going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. Imagine that would be a rough yeah, living. I got into private work. Here, Central America. As far as America so goes, if there was one place that would... Of course he's in it's Hoboken, oh, so he has to be in... Great. Must be in New York. Pillar of the New Jersey community. Me, I must say, if I had to be a police officer yeah, somewhere you know, in America, New York would be at the fucking bottom of my list. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment be like one of the softer cities. Once you drive on off back like, into the sunset there, Pesos, it's uh, really nice catching I was about to say Delaware, but that's a state. <laughs> I don't know, what's a soft, what's a, what's a soft, like, like, north, like, the guy who says he was a policeman in North Dakota, I must say, as far as being a policeman goes, like, North Dakota admit, must be not like bad. Like, what happens, they're very polite in North Dakota. He had a great set of stories, or, I still wasn't interested uh, in becoming a white knight again. Wyoming would be a good place as well. Because there's nothing there. And we were having a good time, but then these arseholes decide that they're gonna come in flashing their pieces around. Everybody was gonna just get become friends. And he just chucks out the racism again. But Raul does not give a fuck. He has got balls like bowling balls. And then this lassie decides to chuck it out. Hard as nails. Oh! She had balls. She is. Had she, like that. that. Girl should have balls. But then he clocked her. Max is having none of that. Puts a fucking bullet in him. And then Raul just goes along with it. He's like, okay. Sounds good to me. And then they all. Oh, Jesus Christ, Raul. There was a lot more guys than we thought there were. They all come in through the back door. But thankfully, this is just a pistol fight. And Max excels at pistol gunplay. 
That guy made the mistake of having his ankle on show through the pool table. And there may be another guy, but there's another guy down there. Brought down his leg. There's a fella coming up at the top here. Oh, right through the chest. Dead centre. Couldn't have been more central, that shot. I'm not trying. Not, I don't say that for my own uh, gratification. Like, I'm merely narrating what I see. And uh, just for the record, if you were, I might as well tell you everything that I know about. Uh, if you're looking for the golden guns, there is one sitting right there. You can actually see it sometimes whenever you the kill that guy at the top last. For me. Most of them fuzzy, Sadly, Max has just made a scene like in his favourite bar and he's never going to be able to come back because he's too polite. We've got more fellas, brought that guy down, no bother at all. There's two more guys. He just made the mistake of not being out of cover. That guy made the mistake of leaning his head out of cover and that guy just made a mistake in general. We do a sweet dodge over the bar, land on the bar, and then get brought down in a hail of bullets. I'm gonna try and lean, manage to get that guy. Pro tip, uh, when you're in last man standing mode, you can get free kills on uh, any guys in the vicinity of the person that shot you last. So you can, uh, you can like, you have to sort of wrestle the camera slightly. Fuck you. But uh, if you do so, I think it's just one hit kills on anything, Time to see what's which is worth bearing in mind. It is a little bit cheaty, I suppose, but like, nah, not really. Nah, I'm, I'm willing to stand by it. Like, it, it, does, it doesn't lock the camera entirely to the person that you have to shoot, so yeah, extending it. That's perfectly fair, fair, fair in my book. I was struggling over my words there, managed to get there in the end though. The only way my first you find this charming little back room with a mostly naked lady. This is where my immersion is broken. If this was really a mob owned bar, there would be tits and vaginas on display left, right and centre. And it would be incredibly, incredibly tacky I would imagine. Although I'm not a mobster and if you are, please don't beat me up. Or kill me, because I don't know what I'm talking about. And Rule, make a ta Rule and Max make a tactical exit out into the Hoboken streets. I am making an assumption that Hoboken is in, in New York. Pillar of the New Jersey community. I always hear it associated with mafia movies and such like. It could be in Jersey. In fact, it might be in Jersey. That could be a thing. There's a few fellas out here, so naturally. Oh, we've run out of slow motion. Oh, fuck. I planned to do some sweet move there where, uh, uh, took out four guys in one go, but it did not go to plan. They're filling their own car with bullets because they, they, they're, that's again where the, uh, where the immersion breaks. Thankfully I managed to not die even though I just managed to dodge shooting that guy in the right place like six times in a row. But then that guy, half of his face is gone now, so who's the real winner? Making a point to get up into cover. Press the cover button before you press the movement button when you're on the floor and you will take cover a lot more fluidly than, than you would otherwise. It's another one of my pro tips for you there. I'm not a pro, but I do have some tips. So, do, do, do be careful. Oh shit, more fellas coming arriving along the way. They aren't going to make it easy for you, they never do. I nearly instinctively press the enter button there because skip came up on screen and I'm just, I just go along with it. They are setting you up for a fall, Max. Like, don't take them, don't let them take you. Don't let them take you alive. Sweet blind fire, you ready? Oh, got him. Didn't, didn't kill him, but we got him. Bring that guy down. And there's more fellas just diving out of their car. Thought I would take out the guy with a shotgun first because shotguns are bullshit in this game. When the enemies use them, they're lethal. They can like just spread shot, hit you over range, and because each bullet does, uh, each pellet does so much damage. Uh, oh, there we go. We got him. Because each pellet does so much damage, uh, you can just get shredded from really long ranges with guys with shotguns, so they're actually worth prioritising over the guys with pistols. The guys with pistols couldn't hit, couldn't hit a barn door if it was attacking them from close range. Moving swiftly home, I arrive at Max's remarkably well defended house, although if you'd seen the shit that he'd seen, you would put four locks on your door as well. Is that a commonly done thing? Like, I, like, I see that in a, in films and TV all the time. I don't know if it's meant to symbolise that they're like massively overprepared, or are they like genuinely? If you lived in a shitty area of uh, Hoboken, they, like, I think I think that's where he lives. If you lived in a shitty area in somewhere like that, would you would would you actually have four locks on your doors? Is that a thing? That sounds just annoying. We've got. I haven't said that. We've got two locks on our door, and I live in fucking Edinburgh. 
Can you give me words Although one of them is like an actual lock, and the other one's just like the shitty, flimsy lock like that, that there's more that there's more for the handle than it is for it's anything there. else. Gesundheit. I don't know what Gesundheit means. I know the association and I know the context. I would know when to say it. I don't know what it means though. Don't know what it means. Family, more than once. Oh, he lost family more than once. Start over. You've mourned enough. I mean, it must be counting Mona Sachs as. Yeah, that's right, Mona Sachs, that was her name. And uh, Max Payne too, she was a love interest. She maybe or maybe did not die, I can't remember. I'd assume she did, considering that he's so bummed out about it. Raul is trying to recruit us. He's like... Oh, we've, we seem to have angered the locals. Raul is trying to recruit us to his cause. And we're like, no, no, we like it here. Even though we've just, like, angered the entire mob. A hundred angry grease balls. At least he's not misrepresentative. Kid I just shot. I think Max is just more than willing to admit to just shooting a kid. Is showing the human angle of a mob hit there. Because we did just legitimately kill a person's son. He might have been an arsehole, but for all we know, he was that guy was a non. Like, it wasn't a, like a true monster. I mean, obviously, he was like a drug dealing mob runner, but he might not have been. He might have been like. Uh, I I like. The, the Daddy Corleone. I've forgotten his name. Marlon Brando in uh, The Godfather. He was like a good guy, kind of. he done things fairly. He didn't, he didn't just randomly kill people. There's another part of the Golden M500 on the floor here. Just for the right, we can examine the badge. It's the old badge. 8349. I wasn't and that was gallant. back in the day. I, I didn't need a shield. He had a partner. He had a family. But it was all gone. Take Max's shotgun. That's a that's nice touch. I didn't even realise that there was a shotgun there. Unfortunately, we're going to have to return fire with a pistol because there's tons of mafia. There's mafiosos in the hallway and they're no having it. That guy's ducked into cover. Let's make this. Take our opportunity. He ran the wrong way. Whoa! I didn't even do anything there. I just got brought down. <laughs> Caught that guy though, so no bother. You can't actually shoot these guys, you're pretty cool. One, two. There's another one up there. Let's try and actually get them. I didn't even know that you could. There we go. Right, Max. Get the get the bullet. Get the shells, not bullets. Damn it to hell! We're losing painkillers left, right, and center. We're getting caught up with all kinds of shit. Pay attention, Max, for God's sake. I wanted to know if there was something I could interact with there that wasn't. Run! Run for your life! And he's running. I thought we could maybe duck into that crime scene. I don't know where you're shooting, mate. I think you're done. Max died that day. That's right, so. Bam, bam, bam! One down. That's the other guy down. He was a problem last time. There is a last. There we go, headshot. Now run, Max! Run for your life! Da 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 da! Da da da! Da 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 da! And he made it. No bother. But fuck, a locked door. Whoa! And then thankfully, old man Jackson came busting out with his shotgun. And he's a strange one. Don't be afraid of the fire. He is a bizarre character. You think they'll, hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Very feminine voice the that guy has. Of hygiene. And then off he went. Just <laughs> on a killing spree, presumably. Alright. He gave it up. And blew himself to pieces. What? It was hard seeing Brewer on earth, like that. poor Brewer. But I got to thinking, it was what he was. <laughs> I love the idea that Max just a developed difference. a friendship with this like unhinged guy that happened to live on his floor. We can examine his house. We can just go around, look at this state of it. There's a pizza just lying out, stacks of them, some explosives. We watch the telly. Stick a telly on Max. Just take a load off for a minute. Now it's Super Baseball Bat Boy. Which was a uh, which was a, a, a sort of recurring in Max Payne one and two there were tellies that you could turn on and it was like a full cartoon that plays and it was all thematic about the the, the, the bleak shit that was going on in the game. 
And it was like representative, it was juxtaposition and shit. Like you could write a fucking essay about Max Payne 1. Like that was a weird game in terms of tone. Really strange. Oh, I've seen enough of this shit. Poor bicycle helmet girl. We turn it off, Max is like, my god. And then we can examine a manifesto. The guy has just been writing up his mad ramblings. And good heavens, have we seen it all. Max, by this point, has literally seen it all. More clippings, gun down in street, psycho detective gets boot. He was put piecing together information. I mean, it only makes sense if he was, like, unhinged that he would, like, take an interest in the people living in his, uh, people living in his stare. But I feel like if you bought this much bleach and shit, you, you would almost definitely be rumbled by the... I don't know who it would be. To Homeland Security, I would imagine, in the US. I don't know who would do it here. If you were like some sort of suspected bomber. Just armed police, I suppose. But yes, carrying on. On the way, we've taken our little break now, watched the telly, we arrive, and then oh Jesus, but we managed to fucking take a bullet on the way. And we got him right in the tummy. Oh, poor guy. Run! Run, Max! Go the fucking firing line! Oh, it's okay. It's okay, he made it. And we come bursting out onto the roof. Fill these chumps, fill these goombas with bullets. Might as well keep it thematic. No bother. No bother at all. Dodging a bullet there, literally. Brought that guy down, but unfortunately we managed to take enough damage to use up a painkiller. Which is a shame, but it is gonna happen. Yeah, you lose all of your bullet time when you, uh, when you, when you use up a painkiller. Which is something, incidentally. Although I'm pretty sure even if you don't have any bullet time, you can still shoot dodge. I think that's the incentive, but it will use up bullet time if it hasn't already. We were kind of fucked from the get-go there. We didn't have enough, uh, didn't have enough pizzazz to get over it, get over to the cover in time. But then we can just oh, oh, brought him down. No bother at all. Then we do a leap and we advance. Typical fear, taking cover. We can hear voices. We can hear voices. Get the shotgun out. Now's the time. Oh, we managed to tag two of them, but then we can effectively just blind fire and just sort of hose the area with shotgun shells. Two are down already. We've limited our, our need. Bam. And then we can probably take that guy out. Absolutely ripped him apart. Gun he didn't stand a chance. Gunfire over Hoboken. Is Hoboken the actual name of a place, or is it just what people call it? Like, that's, that, that's... Oh, fuck, I just <laughs> shot the fucking... Oh, did, did you mean nearly died there? Didn't really nearly die, I had to just to get away from it, but, um... Yeah, is Hoboken an actual place, or is it just, like, a nickname for it? Because it sounds silly. I mean, no offence if you live in Hoboken, but, like... It's quite a strange name. And Max naturally just hops onto the water tower, because water towers are an icon for being sneaky. Hey, what was that? And naturally, what? slips on his fucking arse. But they don't actually know him here, they're just like bollocks to that water tower, but then down we come, we're like, hey, tally ho! Slow motion. And then we just get to hose these guys with bullets as we fall down on our, uh, on our water tower adventure. Don't see any more fellas. And tally ho. He leaps and just makes it. Catches his chin a little bit on the on the uh, on the brickwork, but manages to make it over nonetheless. Because he's uh, skilled like that. He's a talented, talented escape artist. Almost shot Raoul, but thankfully we did not. Because that would have been pretty bad. I don't know where Raoul went. He just sort of buggered off into the ether. He went again back in it. And not the kind you fix up we for a weekend. Hop project. up along the way. These were we the just carry on on our journey void. along deeper to where we're going. We're not sure where we're going, so that's a problem. We're gonna take cover back here just for now in case anybody comes along, but I think it's probably safe to well relatively safe to advance. Raul is under fire in this section, but sweet shoot dodge. We fill any of his attackers with shots. And we're comfortably behind cover. Easy peasy. Max is riddled with bullets right now. Look at the state of him. That guy's got an AK. Brought him down. Must say, this SMG is actually a really good one. You don't often, uh, you don't actually see this SMG much throughout the game, but it's a, it's an absolute cannon as far as the guns go. There is another guy. I'm waiting for him. I see him. I see him. Wonder if we can just tip the shot there. Or someone's taking bullets from somewhere. Oh, there he is. Got him. There's one. 
And then we got that guy as well. The guns are actually really well animated. Riddled that guy. Brutal. Didn't stand a chance. He is definitely dead. He ain't no 50 cent. And we come along here. AK. Lovely. We've got ourselves an actual gun now. Sweet. And 60 bullets for it. This is another one of those sections where we might just die repeatedly. Just because there is a distinct lack of cover and a distinct inundation of gentlemen to shoot. We dive over here. Getting a cover there. And then now we've actually got a gun that's worth its salt. With stable accuracy. I mean, that was it's just a guy with a shotgun and a guy with an assault rifle. It was a toss-up over who we should shoot first. But I think we've actually managed to succeed in getting all of those guys in a one -er. In all honesty, uh, speaking over playing uh, is making my play significantly better than it would be otherwise. Playing through the first time, I was all over the place. But I've actually been somewhat more consistent. Now. It's like I'm pacing the shots or something like that. Something like that. Anyway, Raul, let me advance the story. Raul, please. Okay, well that's a bizarre one. Gonna have to restart from checkpoint because something has gone quite awry here. And there we go, the cutscene actually triggered this time. That was very strange, I didn't expect that to happen. Rule and Max, together again, doing what they do best. Tactically advancing. Oh my god, this bit's gonna be rough. I just remembered Johnson's what happens here. Up cars around the corner from my apartment for the oh last dear. Year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago. But the dead and so, they breach in the discount tactical manner, slide down the car, get in a cover, and then a bunch of, another bunch of Goombas come advancing. Thankfully we've got a submachine gun, so we've actually got the short range capabilities to deal with it. Make sure to handle your flanks, because the enemies will try and flank you in this game, they don't fuck around like that. Managed to take out the guy with the shotgun, fortunately. And then hose down the other guy. Let's oh! See what I mean? Came up on the flank, got me good. Let's get the AK out so that we've got a little bit more killing power. Oh, I say, I say a lot more killing power, but it's not really apparent right now. I do love an AK though. Brought that guy down. Only one more left, I think. And playing fire. Make sure. Keep shooting. There we go. Lovely. Oh! Switch back to the M10 because the M10 is very effective. Scooping up all the ammo along the way. There will be some AK ammo as well though, so we don't have to worry about that. More painkillers. Must have forgot about those. Yeah, he normally uh, Max normally has a uh, has a comment for painkillers as well when you pick them up, which is pretty cool because they're new to the game. Explains why they're there, kind of. Uh, part of the Golden Saf 40, part one of three. I haven't found any of the other parts. I wouldn't even know, wouldn't even know where to begin searching for them. The the secrets in this game are really well hidden, like for a third-person shooter. I I have I, well, the first time I played through, I was actively searching for them, like back in the day, and I, I've never even found half of them. Like, I wouldn't even imagine. I, I wouldn't even imagine I did anyway. Shoot that, blow that guy up. Didn't even work. And the high fire rate of the SMG does kind of work to our favour. High fire rate and versatility in relatively close ranges. We're going to need to figure out a way to advance here because that is an absolute shite line. Alright. Sweet shoot dodge! Thought that guy with bullets. Didn't quite manage to get the other guy but we've now got a lot, a lot more stable cover. Managed to get some cheeky sightlines. And then Raul actually managed to finish them off. So there you go. Pretty cool that you get a, you still get a kill cam of its roll. Nice to touch. These parts. Let's just get over there. And Max manages to prove his own ignorance and of the place that he lives, but it only makes sense because he spends his time drinking and being glum. Poor Max. Poor Max. It's going to be good. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this should be the end of a part. If it's not the end of the chapter, I think it'll be the end of the part anyway, because uh, be a bit I think we, we I think there may be a new. Yeah section but either way thank you very much for watching this uh, this part of max Payne 3 on hardcore difficulty i do hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy then please remember to leave a like comment or subscribe all of those would be greatly appreciated and if you didn't enjoy remember to leave a comment so that i can take it on board and be like oh no but then over time i gradually understand that, that part might be true and that i can't help it and then i'd have to apologize to you personally so let's hope it doesn't come to that but either way thank you very much for watching and i will see you again next time